Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceable's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a re This reading is dedicated to the sign of Leo. That being said, this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. So please do take whatever resonates with you and just leave the rest of it aside. If you feel as though it does not make any sense to you, it doesn't resonate, you're not feeling good with it, then just leave it there. Um, it just is not meant for you. Not for right now and it's okay. It's a general reading. So, if you would like to have your own personal reading, you're in search of guidance, you're in search of answers, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com and it will be my great pleasure to um, give you the information that you're looking for. Also, you can find all of my uh, information on how to contact me right here below into the YouTube Dropbox. You will find my address there. Also, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel and you do enjoy the channel and you do enjoy my messages and my videos, please do take a brief moment of your time to click the subscribe button to um, show your support to the channel and to myself. It is always greatly appreciated. So, with no further ado, we're going to begin this reading here. Now, what we want to know with this reading is um, there's a third party. You want to know, are they going to choose me or them, okay? Are they going to choose you or are they going to choose and are they going to choose a number or oh, the partner number one who was there originally? So I'm using Alice in Wonderland cards and I'm also using some tea leaf oracles. So uh, let's just turn these over. Now I have the King of Pentacles, I have the Queen of Cups, I have the Nine of Cups in reverse. I have the Death card, I have the Knight of Swords. I have the Queen of Wands and I have the Ace of Swords and the Tea Leaves I'm keeping for at last. So, all right, <clears throat> let's begin. So, um, I'm, I'm going to do like I usually do, okay, and I'm going to tell you the answer right away. I find that it's nicer like that. You don't have to wait forever. You don't have to wonder, and whatever I say makes more sense. So um, I do feel as though in this uh, occasion, in this reading for the sign of Leo, I do believe that the partner is going to be returning to the original partner, so partner number one. Um, I, you know, I, I really feel as though, you know, I know that the partner, the partner is here and the partner is there and this is you, okay? So um, let's just put it like that, okay? So here's the partner. The partner may be a he or a she. This is what it is right here. Um, so you're, the king of pentacles really knows what, what it is that they want. And there's somebody who's very uh, verbally, it's very easy, easy for them to communicate. People think they're quite interesting and uh, people like their communication and people are just kind of attracted to uh, to the king of pentacles, which is really good at all in their honor. But that being said, it's just very, very honest to go see them. And it's also very, very, very easy for them to be dishonest and to um, to hurt you in a different way, so emotionally. Um, so this is really about this card who's saying, you know what, I talk really well, I'm a good communicator, I get my, my words and I get my stories passed, so, um, you know, why don't you believe me, right? So this is really about the beginning of the relationship, maybe where they um, he was promising, he or she was promising you all different kind of dreams and illusions, but it never really uh, became concrete. And um, here is he or she again onto the night, and I'm going to explain what is happening with this card in just a moment. Um, I have you, okay? You're very dreamy. So we have somebody who is very down to earth, okay, who likes things that are very, uh, you know, stable. That is the way it is. A box is a box, and okay, and then we have you. And you're different. You're more emotional. You're more tapped into your emotions. Um, you have a tendency to be very, very dreamy, though. You do have to be very careful about that because your tendency to dream away brings you some illusions. It brings you some pain. It brings you some sadness. It just brings you to a completely different world where, um, you know, it, it's just, it brings you elsewhere, which is really, really good for you sometimes because it's good to have a certain escape, but in most times you must be careful so you don't create yourself some extra illusions that's going to create you some extra pain. Um, I have the Nine of Cups over here, and the Nine of Cups is really with the little magician here of Alice in Wonderland, and this is really about, you know what, uh, this is about um, a meeting that is just not going to happen. It's about a celebration that is not going to uh, that is not going to come through. Also, this is really about a. Um 
it's really about a situation where things are just not um, panning out the way that it were supposed to be. Um, so this is really you over here. So I feel as though they're going to be telling you that this relationship is not going to be working out. Um, you're going to be blowing out the candle onto this relationship, onto what is going on here. Um, I have the knight over here and this is a knight who, you know, I told you I was going to get to in just a moment. Well, the knight is really trying to depict that they are leaving. They are going to uh, return to their original partner because right now um, this is becoming a little bit too heated. It's become a little bit too complex and so they don't really want to stay. Um, so they are going to be leaving, which is going to leave you to have to blow out your candle because this is going to be the end of this relationship. So it does bring you some great sadness. It brings you, you know, some great anger also. You are ready to attack. You are ready because they lied to you. They did not give you what it is that you wanted. They didn't give you what it is that they promised you. And uh, you're very upset. And, you know, with quite reason let me just say and so um and i have over here the um the ace of swords now the ace of swords is really all about a realization that something here that has happened so them leaving you to go back to the original partner is really just life changing it is going to change many things into your life because you are no longer um you're no longer going to be in this relationship and you're no longer going to want to be in any relationship with really anybody who um, who's going to hurt you again. So I do believe that you're going to learn from this lesson and I don't believe you're going to return with somebody who is already already into a relationship with someone else. Um, so this is really um, the Ace of Swords about an ending. So it's really the realization that this relationship is not going to be able to continue. Um, and now I'm going to move on to the um, Oracle cards. As for Oracle, actually they're not Oracle cards. I'm very sorry. They're fortune telling. So I have over here um, the Pale. I have the Moon. I have the Claw the grasshopper, and I have the turkey. So the turkey, somebody is behaving stupidly. That really does make sense, doesn't it? So somebody is doing things that, you know, is not very nice. That would be, you know, the, um, that would be your partner. And then over here, I have the claw. Be careful. Do not take any risk. So don't do any unnecessary risk, anything that would not really make any sense. Don't try and go to the other person, to the other partner, or it's just not, it's not worth it. Don't do it. Just let it go. Um, accept the changes in your life, okay, with the new moon here. Accept the changes. It just was not meant to be. It hadn't been going on for all that, for all that time. You have a lot of ups. You have a lot of downs because there's a lot of arguments about the future, about, you know, the problems promises that were made at the very first. So this is really saying, you know, change your life. Um, here you go, get out of a situation with the pale and the grasshopper is all about situations in the balance that require careful handlings. You must be very, very careful in this type of situation not to contact the uh, partner number one and to just, you know, let things die down. Um, so this is uh, the end of the reading. Once again, this is a general, so it might not, you know, resonate with your case. Um, if ever you would like to have a personal reading, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com. In the meanwhile, I do wish you a fantastic day. Many, many blessings. Please don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for the following readings. And I do wish you a fantastic day. Many blessings to